Hi guys, so as you can probably tell, it's a different setting. I had such a draining and exhausting day. That's the internship, it was really tough. And I'm not feeling super well, to be honest with you guys. And I really wanted to film a video, however, uh, I just don't feel like, you know, being um, on my desk and filming and whatever, I feel really tired. So I want to be on my bed and relax, so hopefully you don't mind. I was on Instagram recently, I mean, I'm every day on Instagram, but on Instagram recently, I asked you guys to ask me questions, so I'm going to try to reply to you, as many of you. Now, if you're not following me on Instagram, maybe you should, if that's something you're interested in, because I post quite regularly. So, um, if you could do anything as a career, what would it be? I really want to be a teacher and that's something I'm really passionate about, but the one thing I would like to be able to do is to write. I'd love to be able to write fiction and non-fiction. I mean, I do write, but I'd love to be able to get published uh, both in non-fiction and fiction and just, you know, um, make a living out of it. That would be really amazing. Come on ask me where would you like to travel next I have travel plans for um, this summer I'm going to Malaysia, Cambodia and Myanmar with a friend Malaysia and Cambodia and I'm going to Myanmar on my own other than that I really want to go to Kazakhstan I still want to go to Kazakhstan so if anyone is in Kazakhstan and want to host me or want to help me figure that out or if anyone wants to go to Kazakhstan with me raise your hand I want to go to Iran which is probably gonna happen I'm gonna make it happen someone asked me hi Amy would you like to know uh, what's your favorite type of music? So I've kind of already replied to this. Uh, I have a video up about the kind of music that I like the most, if you want to check it out, and that's Japanese music. However, I'm really into metal, um, rock, everything that's a bit new wave. I like Korean indie music also. Someone asked me if you could write a book that will be as successful as Les Miserables, what would that book be about? That's a really good question. I'd love to write a book about... I have written something about asexuality and I'm currently writing something that could be seen as a magical... I don't know, um, it's not magical, but it's magical realism and it's a lot about feminism. So yeah, that's for you. Uh, I don't really know. I guess you don't really choose. I, I would like the book to have like a positive, mes a positive message and to be uh, politically engaged. Someone asked me, what is your favorite animal? Uh, wolves. Do you ever leave friends and move to Japan for an extended period of time? Absolutely. I love friends. I love living in Paris. It's my love. But I, I want to live abroad, and not only in Japan, but Japan is a dream. Someone asked me if I'm a Buddhist, and someone else asked me if I'm religious, and someone else, someone else asked me what do I believe in. Um, I'm not a Buddhist, I'm... I guess you could say I'm sort of a religious person. I'm more of a spiritual person, but I really love religions. I love the... Um, aesthetics of religions, I love studying religions, and I love analyzing them, understanding them, talking with people who are very religious. I've never had any issues with religious people, you know, as long as they were fine. However, I'm not really religious, even though I'm really close to Catholicism because I've been growing up in, even though my parents are both atheists, but I've grown up in schools that were Catholics. I quite agree with many things and I really like Jainism as well. Someone asked me if I believe in life after death. Yes, I do believe we reincarnate and we have to get better each life that we get and then we can just you know sort of evaporate in the in the universe and just meet God. What motivates you to study what you do when you're feeling down? I'm gonna do a video about procrastination and motivation because that's something I get quite frequently. Many people ask me about my teaching sort of experience right now um, and I'm gonna do a video about that and I also have a video up about that so links are everywhere somewhere. What's the most difficult thing about teaching? For me the most difficult thing about teaching is there are several things that are difficult obviously the fact that people that students sometimes chat and sometimes don't do their homework and do you see that some of them do not progress not because of you necessarily but mostly because they're not putting in the right effort or the good amount of work that's really difficult to deal that because to deal with that because you want to help them and you want them to improve but you cannot do the work for someone but for me the most difficult thing is definitely how I get so emotionally involved and that's really difficult to deal with because people leave and you know you you have to put like some sort of distance between them and you whatever. Uh, if you could visit any place in the US where would you go and why? I'd love to go to Oregon, I really like that. Or Washington. Secondly, if you could spend a day with any historical figure who would you choose and what would you discuss with them? I'm gonna take Jesus as a historical figure and I would take Jesus. Uh, yeah. Uh, at what age did you go vegan? I became a vegan when I was 21. Hi, dear Amy. It's difficult for you to manage studies, internship, and everything. Do you have any advice for that? Thank you. Love you so much and your videos. Thank you very much. 
Um, I'm probably going to reply in more depth to that sort of question in my video about procrastination and you know motivation and stuff. It is difficult, but I'm okay. I have a bit of a bad. Uh, I don't know. There's something that's not really good about me, which is that I am maybe a workaholic. I never really thought I would be one, but I feel really, really bad and I don't do anything. And I always feel like I'm not achieving anything, like I'm not doing anything worth recognition or worth whatever being mentioned. So it is difficult to manage all of that, but at the same time, it feels like I'm not doing enough and I have so many other projects that I want to work on. So yeah, any advice is just organize yourself, make sure you do things on time and prioritize things. You will have to give up on a few things, but just remember the end goal. Living in Paris is really expensive. You need tuition rent, etc. Um, yes, Paris is expensive as a city, I'm not gonna lie. However, it's not that expensive. Uni is free or very, very affordable. The only thing that I think find is really expensive in Paris is the place, like finding an accommodation and renting is really expensive. Other than that, no, honestly, food is not expensive. Um, the transports are not that expensive and many museums are free if you're 26 or if you're a student you have many you know um, special prices and stuff so no discounts I don't think that's expensive hi Amy I have two questions what is your favorite comfort food to make when you're feeling down and what is one country you would love to visit one day Um, the country I would love to visit one day many <laughs> But yeah, Kazakhstan. I don't even know what the reason is for my obsession with Kazakhstan, but I just really want to go to Kazakhstan. And um, the comfort food, that's a really good question. Do I really, do I even have a comfort food? Uh, Indian food. Yeah, Indian food. Like a curry and some samosa and a really good rice, so yeah. So someone asked me, hey Amy, how'd you get your hair color to stay so vibrant for so long? It really doesn't actually stay that vibrant for that long. But I wash my hair once or twice a week. I try to aim at once, but it gets really difficult sometimes. And I don't really use the cold, uh, hot water. I try to use cold water and... I'm, I just wash it as quickly as possible <laughs> and that's the only thing I do. Uh, what foods do I eat as a vegan when traveling? Um, I always try to rent a flat or be in a hostel where there is a kitchen so for breakfast and very frequently for dinner I try to eat at home sort of so rice, pasta, potatoes, you know that kind of stuff and then I really rely on juices, fruits, bananas and Lots of the different things, um, falafels, wraps, and sushi, and in okay, Asian food basically is gonna be your friend rice and veggies, um, vegetable spring rolls, um, vegetable samosas, that kind of stuff. Hey, Amy, I am in high school at the moment and I'm planning to go to UK to take a degree in English literature and philosophy. I'm very passionate about those two subjects, however, I'm constantly doubt my ability as a competent student of literature. Do you think that passion is enough to make a person be great at that thing? Yeah, I do think so. I think, li I think honestly, literature is about being passionate. Because the more passionate that you are, the more you're going to read, the more you're going to research, the more you're going to analyze, the more you're going to listen to the teachers, and the more you're going to be curious about literature, the movements, the authors, the reason why, the historical context and everything. And if you get serious and if you do things properly, your passion is going to take you a long way. Ask me if you could marry someone famous, could be alive or dead, who would it be? I don't think I would want to marry anyone, honestly. I just think there are a few people I would love to hang out with because they seem really cool. Um, but yeah, like Matthew Gregor, for example, or Ezra Miller is really cool too. At what age did you move to Paris and was it hard for you being on your own? What is your absolutely favorite book? I moved to Paris when I was 19, I think. No, probably 18, wait, I wanna say 19, I don't remember. Anyway, um, was it hard for me being on my own? I wanna say no, but at the same time, the two first years of me being in Paris, I had depression and severe social anxiety, so maybe after all it was a bit hard for me. I wasn't on my own though, I was living with a friend of mine with whom I had been, I mean, with whom I had been friends for like years, and I had two other friends here, so I wasn't really alone. Um, but I've been living on my own when you think about it for quite a while now and it was a bit difficult at first you know because when you're tired you don't have anyone to help you when you have no motivation to cook you need to cook when you need to 
do administrative stuff, you need to do it and you need to get it sorted by yourself. Also when you're feeling down or when there's something you've never done before, you're all alone to do it. It's different but I honestly love living on my own. I would never ever want to go back to living with my parents or anyone else actually but my sister or I would have to have a much bigger house. So my favorite book would have to be, okay, it's difficult, why are you asking me this? I really like L'Education Sentimentale by Flaubert. I also love Baudelaire. And I quite like The Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath, I guess. And last question, last but not least, hey, are you into cinema? If so, any favorite filmmakers or movies? I'm actually really, really into cinema, which is something not many people know. I watch movies all the time. Uh, recently, yesterday, I watched the, um, Celeste and Jesse Forever. It was quite interesting. I also watched recently Seventeen Girls, or You Said Fee, which is a French movie. I watched Mustang recently, which was really, really good. Recently, I also watched um, Tracks, which was really good. And I watched... A, another movie which was a bit weird and was called The Diary of a Teenage Girl. Many, 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 many sex scenes, so if you're not into that, just don't watch it. And I don't have any favorite filmmakers, actually, I don't think so, but I have a distinct sort of style of movies that I quite like. And, uh, for example, my favorite movies are Her, um, Her, Boyhood, Before Sunrise, Before Sunset, Before Midnight. I really like, um, I'm gonna put a link of some of my favorite movies because they don't really come to mind right now, but I try to answer as many questions as possible and now I'm gonna edit this. I hope this was interesting for you guys and I will talk to you soon. Bye!